guys, Hoodie here. It's been a long time since I have recorded, so I'm going to get back to recording. But for all you guys who have been trying to make a logo, here is what I use and what I do to make my logo. And it's about time that I change my logo because uh, this logo has existed for the first for the first three, four, five months that I've had this channel. For the first three, four, or five months. And let's just get straight into it. You don't need the toolbox. All you need really is the properties and explore. Now what you want to do is start playing the game. Just like that. Just press play. Not that hard. Now you want to press workspace. Click on your avatar. Control C. Now stop playing. Alright, now that we have it, copy and paste it back in there. Now before you take the picture, g click on model, and then you see the constraints where it says show, mo show details. Click that, and it will get rid of these weird green bubbles, instead of you having to delete, to delete them. I suggest that you name the model with, like, space. Just put... So remove your name and put space. Because they're going to know who you are. Now you want to click on yourself. Here's where the fun begins. You want to first click on the base plate and color any color. And end, you want to make any surface that I suggest smooth with no outline. And then I suggest the material being grass. But you can pick whatever, because right now I'm going for a nice forest green grass. And the surface, smooth, no outline. I like to go under, and just smoothen it with no outlines. Yeah, that's all you need to do here. Turn it off by clicking on surface and then clicking on what you selected. Again, now click on your avatar. If you can't, which then this is where the explorer comes in. Click the model that you named with just one space. Now, this is what I do. You can go ahead and open your model. Open it up and I use R15, but you can use R6, or in the future, Anthro. But I suggest R5, no, I mean R15, not R5. R5 doesn't exist yet. So let me just model this. Oh yeah, and... If you know your um, tools and what you need to press for them, like control 3 for scale, control 2 for move, all that stuff, then you should be good to go. And I need to go back to editing this. Now here's a little uh, thing I like to do. Red. Green. Blue. Red. That was just a random combination. It's a good combination though. It's random though. That was random. 
Now take your lower arm. Actually, no. Undo everything. Except for the part where you colored it. You can go back and simply use con hold shift or, well, control, and then select all of the things that are part of the arm that you're going to edit. And then you want to rotate it. Now that you have the first position done, which let me just tilt it one tiny little bit and then move mine a little bit. Now that you have that, oh yeah, and if you want these settings, go ahead and get it, but now that you're done with that, click control and deselect the left upper arm. Now what I like to do, is start rotating again and then every so often take a little check now look you have this weird crack here. If you do, then just make it go left. Make it go any direction that the crack is. Now, if that doesn't work, turn off the move. Uncheck the move box. Move it slowly. Until it is gone. And then you can turn move back on. And then deselect left lower arm by pressing control and then clicking that. And then use your hotkeys. I suggest using hotkeys. Now look, if you're doing what I'm doing, I suggest that you actually add a little base so that way it makes a little sense but therefore you're gonna have to deselect move and redo that except this time I'm just going to deselect both of them which is usually how I used to do my stuff when I didn't care at all except I didn't uncheck these, I just put zero there and now I've got my first arm and I'm going to do my other arm I don't know about you but I'm gonna do both of my arms There we go, I select the whole arm. This one's not going to have much edited to it. There we go. And then deselect upper arm.
uh, no, I'm not done with mine anymore. All I gotta do is rotate this. Go ahead and change it however you like. I'm not there to control you, and I'm not going to con control you. I'm just going to tell you to do whatever you want to do. Which technically means I am controlling you to do whatever you want to do. But let's just get off the logic, the 100% realism right now. And uh, this is the reason why I like this kind. I'm going to go to left upper leg, left lower leg, left foot. Now this, now this is just me being extra, okay? You don't have to do any of this. Just me being extra because I like realism. Super real. Then let's go over here. Grab this leg. Now, once you've done that, you might want to open the command bar. Now this isn't going to be too hard. But I'll just open the output for you. Because why not. So what I like to do. So click run a command. Now you might want to change the skybox. But I suggest you don't change the skybox. And instead just change the daytime. So what you want to do is type game. Lighting, time of day, and change time of day. Now, from time of day, you can't add a period, so you want to press. So you want to press the equal. So game dot lighting dot time of day equals. Um. So put whatever number you want here. Changes the lighting. But usually my favorite is usually at 16. No, not 16, I mean 19. You could pick 19, 13, 666. Ooh, that's not a good thing. Okay, don't type in 666. 656. Alright, I'm haunted. Shouldn't have typed that in. Anyways, I'm gonna type 18. 18 looks the exact same. 18 is weird. Not a good thing. See, a perfect time of day. Because we've got a little bit of purple going on. If we look down, it's a lot more purple. Then when we look up, it's more of a red. A not red, that's not red, that's black. Now, here's where the fun begins. Just watch. I'm just looking for a nice blue. Yeah, that's a nice blue. Grab this piece plate. Now look, you... Now, I'm going a little extra, okay? You don't have to follow me when I'm going extra. But I like when my thumbnails are really nice, so since I don't feel like building a whole entire titanic looking boat, I'm just going to 
search up boat in the toolbox. I don't care about a working boat. I want something that looks like the Titanic. Yeah, I want the Titanic. Yeah, that looks nice. Oh, I think it's gonna crash him again. Oh, that is big. No, no, I'm just gonna press F. No, I'm gonna find Explorer. For that F. There you go. Now I've got a huge Titanic. What I'm gonna do is get rid of that. Oh, that's gonna cause even more lag. So my recording doesn't crash. I think it's it's gone. Yep, it's gone. Doesn't have to be the Titanic right now. Just make it a boat then. Don't want a speedboat. I saw the actual boat I wanted just like a few seconds ago. There we go. Nice and small. Now here's where the little animation-like part comes in. Now I'm really interested in animation. And I've really focused... Look, my main goal of this actual channel was supposed to be animation, not gaming. And don't worry, there will be animation. After December 25th. It's probably... And there's probably going to be a bunch of animations um, when my school goes off, like every other school, and sometime in summer. And that's the fun part, but let me show you what this looks like. Uh, no, it's a bit off-centered. Don't look yet. <laughs> Boom. Nope. Do no, I was almost... Nebuliac is not a word, Nishan. Nebuliac's not a word, Austin. Darn it, now I wish I made a sitting position. Nope, not changing it right now. Here it is. Here's a horizon line. And now here's where the best part goes. You want to get rid of the output. And you want to just click on view and anything that is gray needs to be turned off. And this needs to go down. How do I put that down? Oh well. Now what you want to do, click on test. And then click on emulator. Now look. Usually you'll start off with the R with the iPhone 7, but that's not what you want right now. Let me re-angle it. So, what you want to do is go to desktop, then just click on one of them. Alright, now I'm on average laptop, but that's not what you want. You actually want is 720. Now, if there's um, this weird gray border around it, 
then don't pick 720 and pick 180. Just a little too big for me. Now that, now if it's this much, that's okay. But if it's like, kind of like that, no, you need 180. So I'm going to go back to 720, get aligned. Now, I suggest using, so there's a built-in system for this. What I like to do, though, is, using, is use snipping tool. But since I'm not going to record me using snippy, snipping tool, let's just take a screenshot. No, it's only going to take a screenshot of this. Alright, there you go. Now let me go to paint.net. But seriously though, did you really think I was going to make myself go all the way to paint.net? Nah. This is already okay. And what you need now is to actually go on to Google, where the magic's gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, anyways, I couldn't record it, um, but there you go, I changed it, but how to change it is, so go to your YouTube account, click on, and then go to the home page on your YouTube account, click on your image, and then it'll ask you for the screenshot. And there you go. Crop it, and you'll see it. So, this is how I do it. And look, this is what it would look like without the emulator. It looks more thickened, more 3D than without the emulator. It looks more flat for me. But, um, I hope you all enjoyed, and thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, then do the, do the most obvious thing, like it. But if you dislike the video, go ahead and dislike the video, and comment down why you dislike the video, or don't. Or just don't leave a like or dislike, because you don't have an account, and or you know that if leaving a dislike or a like will help me review and you're just one of those people that like to spam some stuff that I'm not allowed to say on here cause I'm a kid friendly channel yee yee no I'm PG okay but um thank you all and I'll see you all next video and yes I will be trying Remember the trying part. I'll be trying to upload a video every three weeks. At least every three weeks. Because you can't expect a lot from me. Because summer break, I have... Well, the first time I had summer break on YouTube, I went... I just exploded. I became a nuke. So, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. So, so, no.